for a whole season, yet managed to reach the Champions League final with a poor Tottenham team. He can win trophies at Manchester United. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that was a poor Tottenham team. Tottenham's team under Poch, he, he, he built an amazing side. Um, and and, and they see what he can do. But like so I said, mate, yeah. I'm looking at the It's done. Exciting. But don't no trouble. Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Silly. You've seen the roll out. Nah. I hope that the manager comes in and he has a five, six, 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 and all that anger no, I, I hear turns that, out I, the I, brain. I, I, I totally get that. When he gets mad, he's uh, stupid. Direct question, mate. You got nothing like that to worry yeah. about with Tom. Yeah, he the was ace the whole way, you boss. See all the I'm glad to hear it. Manchester United manager you got a growing business. We could use a guy like you to help out around the park. We run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. What? Yep, for that. It would be an honor. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already got you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words on it. The man who needs to resort to this, that. It's just ignorant or lazy. Say, we don't deal with the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Sister. I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, too. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank out of peril because he's smart. No, he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys. In this room, you hear because they have the only thing that matters to me. Moan about oh, short term fixing that should matter to any of us. You make on the field, like you know what that is, Tommy. But yet, we, we don't have that same mental approach towards the way we're looking to pick a manager, and I think that's really interesting. However, like They're I said, loyal. maybe this is what we need help weaponize right. the, the Oli outfit. They with get you. the manager they want. You're going to be living the high life now. You know, people that I trust but and people that I like. You abuse my trust. The likes of Ranks and the likes of Saeed and really Saeed. Posh. Maybe you won't ever need to worry about this me. manager. That they, so that they all had issues with, with Oli some, one way, shape, okay, then. They all had issues with Jose for one way, shape, or form. Poch is their guy. If Welcome Poch to the comes family. in and they see him thrown under a bus in the exact same way, maybe then, maybe then finally we'll get the majority of Man United fans. Now start. The big problem, which is the Glazers. And Luigi, let's see. Let's see. Poch comes in and kills it. Like, seriously. Welcome. But yeah, I'm with you. Right now, I would have personally sat Oli. Um, a bar and Luigi, it's not much for cook. But everyone has a different view on that. We've added eye test to the call, eye test. Maron. Would you sack Oli now? Would you give him five more games? Or would you give him five more games? What's your opinion, mate? Well, I would say is, I don't believe you need, um, I believe if you're a great manager, you don't need these superstar signings like Jadon Sancho's, like Neymar's, like, I don't know, Paul Pogba's. You don't need that. I believe we can, well, it is possible. Those first to days in Celieri's bar was Champions slow. League, League, League. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old company. Mostly he just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. I got to think, I got to think, other than Van Dijk and Alisson, look who he's got. Salah, he wasn't a big name. He wasn't a big name. Mane wasn't a big name. Wijnaldum wasn't a big name. Look how he's transformed Henderson. Look how he's transformed Robertson. He he just put players into the system. There he is. That, that suits the system. Sorry, I'm late. And now I look what Take he's winning. Yeah, I believe we That's get, collection uh, day, boys. The right the right so Tommy, you'll drive. Polly and Sam can handle the rest. Sorry, be, I'm a big spider on my... Just a handful of stuff, Steve. Big it? spider. Fill at the motel with a little short list. What's that about? Make sure he pays us the interest he owes. Don't lay hands on anyone unless 
Christians have no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe the protector. So let me roll a script to bring it out to me. Better But the bills still do. Everyone pays out. We can handle it. No, I'm touching that. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm 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 sorry. i am sorry 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 i they have. I saw um, this. They identify you. They identify talent early. Very similar to what. Um, yeah, Gary the Rat. Shout out to the and there a couple of times. Very, very well for many, many right. years. But we would Get sign out. people. Pointed and they're not going to hear a skill. We, we did it. Javier Hernandez is, is, is a good example. Ronaldo. You know, not a Oli, he, he's one of them. Even Dwight York, a lot of people didn't like the idea of Man United signing Dwight York. I killed guys really? for the last time. Signed a lot of players a little around. bit left field, and not so much the superstar players within England or on the continent when they when they came into the football club. We developed them. Sometimes I think that's more about Manchester, about a club. So you're looking at Mane going, he is well classed. No one's noticed yet. Yeah, going to get him now. Which I think is part of it, because Marley is amazing. And, and yes, part of it is coaching and development by a manager, but I also think there has to be a, a base and a core of quality in there. Where is it? Do you think oh, right. the and you know, already have those players, and Pops the can harness them okay. and make us title contenders and Champions League winners again? And what do you I think a big overall in players is needed as well? I think, right. well, I think we already have some amazing players. I believe. If we have a proper manager, a proper system, we shoot and start. Get behind some. And don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the right system. Frank and the right system. The right system. The right The right system. 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 The right Spoke to Biff, he said, Why is there such a focus? You see, the same Oli Alpha game that attack Oli. He, he, he Why are we so against the Rashford's Maguire's, the, 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 even to an extent, Easy. you know, in recent times, you know, that these people are all against, you know, like AWB is no good. What? Why, if it's Oli, is there such a focus on how bad some of these players are? And this is where I get confused, because what? there's so many other person in the back. You're a regular magician. Oli. <laughs> but then when we talk about a new manager coming in, it's... Uh, Oli, uh, this manager will make these players really, really good. So that's fine. If your opinion is Oli is damaging these players, I can respect that. Show me you what can't you can have do. it both ways. That Oli damages the players and the system bad. Okay. Plus the players are bad. That doesn't compute. No one will agree. I think that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that the first team players have Oli actually brought in. So that's, that's my thing about it. First we got out. He runs the bakery on Longwood Street. You know what? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. That's too bad. Okay, this is it. 
Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. And this is where, like, this there needs to be a big debate on this, and maybe that isn't for today. Is you've got this sort of situation that I look at where I think. We, uh, yes, over the last two days, I've seen the United fans angry and wiped and so, but not really the fine player that's going to be the fine How are you? players doing We're the good. That's a little joy. That's where my issue is. Forget Ollie for a minute. It's a little now. She's my views turning into a pain in the ass, just I'm, like I'm a grandma. Gonna, I'm that's never good to hear, Al. This football club isn't going to happen. I'm not going to be able to do that again. Now you got any trouble around he here? He stays fine. Any punks, guys, and problems? To an extent, no. no. Because I don't think Nothing like that. is now going to fix the club. So you got the money. I got this got waiting in the back room. And oh, Tommy, I'll get it. I think you stay here where we can see it. Coming in and it's been Ollie. real slow this month. Comes in I was worried about the power. Al, I know you've we been all out on us. But it's on good point. Work. I'm going to address eye tests with I mean, this one. Let's say in 18 months' time, it's like, wow, look at the football. Second in the league, they look amazing. What's your reaction going to be when the Glazers do to Poch? What they've done to Jose, what they've done to Ollie, what they've done to LVG. They don't allow to buy, they don't allow to sell who he wants. I guess. They, See you next month, Dad. Let and us they know if you need to get anything at all. Sure will, Sam. What would your reaction sure be will. if they undid hey, his best, work? That, that's, huh? I, I want to ask that question of you. Well, yeah. First of all, we'll talk about Pucci as a really my first choice, but let's go with Pucci anyway for what they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pucci, yeah. If you look, if you, um, look down at that, uh, most transfer windows, he, he, um, he, he made a profit. Okay, profit next up, we got all of your jeans, place. So China store up on Tower. And, and He's not dead yet? Yeah. Almost. And his nephew's taking over. Seasons, and he was still able to build this. Guy, he used to run this next place, Tom. His name is not Eugene. Guy's a transfer. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Oh, he slammed his head into the counter back in 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's that, so he might need reminded too. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. They brought William in on £220,000 a week. Partey's coming on £260,000 a week. Yeah, so Eugene's I mean, nephew ain't he's having much fun right, right now. When he's going, Ali don't stop. Fans may look at it and say, Once we were putting a squeeze on his tail over in Holbrook, this summer. guy they ended up in a wheelchair. Clubs don't, clubs don't think about money in terms of transfer net spend. It isn't real. It's ongoing. Yes, 18 million of outgoings have been committed to do this this year. Some of it will go up front, some of it will be paid in installments, some of it might be done via lending. Here he what goes. He's a fast Tate worker. Has been Arsenal, 100, a minimum of £110 million pounds over the next five years. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. 
New King's nephew's guy's money is ours next week. Put some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shove cover? Yeah, I'm seeing some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Wanna come out with us again, pal? Didn't hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not the way. Not high. Kind of not high. I don't know. It's not true, you guys. I see why you can't come back to me. So anyone can do it. We've been working these streets for years. You come in, you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam, right? You better stay on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to know, Molly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. A preacher's like him in a crowd. I think you gotta say you're sorry. Time. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his J. <laughs> yeah, you did that with him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. It ain't big. Awesome pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before he lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even for all. To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna run the boat. Starting to miss the side of the streets and sidewalks. You got one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handle or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You're gonna do all the jobs that Molly hates. I'm happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. We must see what he's trying to do on the training run. We're not still good at And you know what? I think we've been over that before. And I think, listen, I'm not going to challenge your opinion today. I think there's certain things that we have seen improve. You know, our, 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 you know, best of up until up until the last few games behind. That's the way record has it. It's not the nine. Christ, Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? Don't come back. You'll end up in worse shape than your friends. They're trying to get information out of me. I gotta get some new doctor. I can't wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay, just hang on. A footballing coach with a better coaching team around him would get this team to play better football. That's almost an obvious thing to say. And Indiana, Indiana's a coach, you'll know that if you have better coaches, generally you get more out of what you've got. My question isn't about that. My question is, do we see it getting us? Found him! And then some people go on to this night. Are we going to get back to the Are we going to get back to the team? The coaching, the, 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 the,
Jack over there. Here. If you think Poch or Nagelsmann or any other manager can do that, and it's purely a managerial issue, someplace. fine. I just think it's amazing you've still got faith in Goodwood & Co. to help architect that, and they've now failed four times on the bounce. And Nick said it a lot. You know, Nick's said, and he's right. How are we even thinking or considering trusting this board to pick us another manager after they're now, according to, according to you, I test, and, and, and you have to agree with this, they've now got it wrong four times on the bounce, yes? Yes. So why would you, would, do you trust them to pick the right guy again? Or, 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 I would you, trust them. If you're afraid, do you trust them to pick the right person this time? I don't know if I would trust them to pick the right person, but let me respond to what you said earlier, right? I do still believe if they did pick the right person, we'd get back to the top. Because, let me, let me bring it back to the top. I think if you got Klopp, you would have to get Jaden Sancho. Yeah? He, if um, if Klopp was in Oli's situation, yeah, he could have easily, instead of waste a lot of time on Jaden Sancho, but Saar, for example, is nowhere near as good as Sancho, in my opinion. But he, um, he, he, Klopp would be able to get him in and fit him in his system. Right, go, hang on, go, hang on, go back, go back, go back. So are you blaming Oli for that? I'm blaming Oli for not having a proper system where he, because for me, Oli, he needs Sancho. He needs um, these big players to be able to get to the top. But I believe if you get a manager with a proper system, you don't need big players. You, so why, so on, that, so on, on that logic, I'm going to ask you a genuine question. And why did, if that's the truth, then why did the club want to go to Alcantara in his and not Mark Noble? I said it would be useful to get the best of the Give me the shot! Go! That doesn't mean so in your opinion, if you get the best of the world, not Thiago, you just think that that's really working here with the team and rotation. It isn't about the quality of the players, that's all this thing. It would be difficult, it would be harder, obviously, but I would be able to get it past the task of coming up with Henderson, who's in it with all these other players in the team, so I would be able to get it past the task of obviously it would be harder. Super chat to do here. This is from who with me. There's oh Poch left so Spurs on the 19th of November. Oli has two or three games and then Barman leaves is up uh, to see it's a uh, minor only issue is Oli wins the games and stuck with the plans, sell the plans, uh, who is bringing who in games. Do you know what people have scored? That is around me. How did the fuck you get in here? Right. This is another problem that plays with if you're looking to sacrifice and you're talking to Potch, this whole you've got five games to save yourself on this. That is bad management. If I was going to have a little bit of time, I'm not going to have a little bit of time. And there's no idea how to do I guess you give someone time to try and prevent them. Watch it. This guy just jump. How do you make it up there? I need, I need a better BDM. I need a better uh, uh, head of the eagle. I need, I need a better client. Oh, Why don't you start looking for that? You've made your mind up. And we've made our minds up that Oli isn't good enough. We need to do it now. And that is what we're calling for Oli to be sacked. He's saying, I don't want this indecisive, wishy-washy procrastination from Manchester United. And we've got a few more super chats to do here. First one said, you also can hear me, because you also need to look at Poch. Been in three jobs in a few years, and gets over very easily. The issue we need to look at is how motivated is Poch uh, for a long-term project. Poch is good, but his passion went. Do you know what I'd say about that? I, I do think in Man United, there is a lot more to be motivated. I don't know how much I'm going to be motivated. But let's see. Uh, James Hill, Super Chat says, uh, no, James Hill, C, A, Paul, Oh, God. She did, and then got to get the same night. That must be one of them. We start to like get over the story of a new manager, and he starts to rebuild. The pressure will be put on top, and, and then the ball went back in one summer. Things won't improve as quickly or go in the same direction we want them to, and then turn the it, it, That's what I see happening before, man. Push down. What, what happened to being positive and not being a negative negative? What, what, why are you saying, oh, we're not going to win anything with the days of, um, we're going to be here in the same position in 18 months? I'm being positive. I believe if we get a proper manager, then we, we will achieve it. Even with the days of, come on, be a supporter, man. I'm a supporter. 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 I'm a supporter.
we need to be positive towards the team on the field of play. Yes, criticise where criticism is needed, but mental fair to both manager and player. We have to have the ring fence element of our so team. So that's how a regular player goes from cabbie to mob and force overnight. Is towards it? the people it's that have legitimately look. killed our cause over the last 50 years. Time. And he's working on that particular street. And that's the Blazers. Taking a break that's just when Bonnie and Sam are coming well, around. Let's talk about being a negative player. Yes. That is what I mean. I feel like I see people taking all their frustrations about the night on the wire or Rashford or Pogba or Martin. But it's a lucky break up the same. I mean, one day you'll fuck you back doing another day's work and the city doesn't try to scrape you out of heels and stays stepped up the boat. And we've done it in the United United for the seven ten years, years dirty money. Lord, there's only the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Sally and Ben had one of the city. For every big bucks in the early days, down the road, he turned cat. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to live in another way. And then a few years later, he was... He did seem to have this city. He drove him in some shadow. He was the He was a Fellaini. He was the only thing about Joey Crackers. And a few years after that, he went back to Fellaini. And then he moved on again and again. And every company... And then it was the Lukaku. He the reason that system doesn't work. Before Lukaku. No, no, no. It's Zlatan. Zlatan too slow. Every single year, there's a new person. Now it's Maguire, Maguire, Maguire. Last year, we are here. Joey was just driving to the gym one Every year, we find a new player. Got the daydream about one of the belts or something. Either pin up or you'll wire with me. And we forget the tennis. And the way you sit there going, lovely, Joey. All right. The trouble you got there, my clothes. He's legitimately mad. Look at this. Because it's an easy time. Jesus, baby. Joseph Dunn. Tamarara. I didn't know it was you. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a massive problem. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joe? Nature no. Seven goals. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. Like You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. Let I just, I just, I ain't never been in no accident. No, it's, and they won't well, because they've got a lot of credit. Repairs are going to be expensive. It was an article. This is, this is how good they were at times. Oh, you're not going to need that, sir. Times are just fine. Russell bets up his arm. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> <laughs> Now this season, AWB is going to become a target as well. It's just, it, I don't know what creates it. Like, uh, I don't know the answer. So much fun, yeah, tail pal. You got their foreman right there, it says Merlin made a mace every time Crackers went to the mat. The That's reason, true, though. The re, you know, it's still, like the Pogba, Morello this left that poor seven there in the street. And I'm now, I'm ten years into this. I'm ten years into this. I'm seven years into the managerial era, and I'm like, Maybe the Don, Joey's career was on the down. Maybe he was trying to scare someone. Like I said, I don't know. Don Salieri turned it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he went mad. Just stand up and cut the money out of the club and make them make the changes. So, I need to talk more about it. I have to control 300 million men out of the club. I know what I want to. For a couple of years after I joined them, things were quiet. We got into a few dust ups with guys trying to lose weight. But elsewise, it was just a little routine. Maybe I just want to see some of the rules. Not for protection, but the boys don't want to be around like small time. But these owners being here, I have to start thinking like that for my own sanity. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Every year, there's two or three new scapegoat players. The manager's this, the manager's that. It just becomes a cycle. It would be the same thing every year, but with new people. You're all sorry, Jack. It's like I took this life. Like what's in these standards? Every year, these standards. Every year, there's gonna be four or five deaths. There's going to be Phil Mitchell getting into problems with... There's going to be Phil Mitchell getting into problems with more and more, more, and more gangsters. Cat Mitchell... Cat, Cat Slater's going to cheat. You know what I mean? Martin Fowler's going to be selling fruit. Ian Bill's going to be building up a business and Tommy. losing it again. You know, Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Lots of yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? Lots of you know there's a race coming. Like. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on it. The local. Mike is done. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too it smart is. with his money. Yeah, we got yeah, to a few years ago, Mike he comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get him tires so he can keep racing junkers out of the quarry. We found some of the best I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Jose Mourinho. Turns out, out right Mike is a great investment. Being the kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers and gouges, and I start placing a few bets on him. Next thing we know, we have all my money back and more. 
in terms of yeah, yeah. Sam says he's the guy to beat. It was. Be we ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand on those? A truck. Load. But not just our A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except the road. You think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain. Um, no. He wants a man with the ground. Can't find him. Rebel's got to hold up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wages will stay. Everyone will fight fouls in the races. What about his car? That's the chicken town. Ralph knows the guard on the track. You go down there tonight, boost the Europeans' car, bring it to one of our mechanics, make a few just when you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. I'll be interested to see what it is before I go back to Canberra Live throughout the whole of the summer of 2018. And I had these chats on air and off air with the likes of Brent, Flex, and multiple other calls. They all said the same thing to me. The biggest problem with Jose. Move Jose. Look at this hat, And you see the problem Where were you last night? Fast forward two years. I was with you. And it is brown all day. And I don't think those individuals are wrong in terms of what the players have felt. It's just, and now what I've seen so is, is a lot more. It's something crazy, you know. It takes time. Hey, it's a it's maybe Good why day it's coming up, right? Have you, have you seen your race before? That that failed, kind of hard to miss. Still, so the area isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, 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 sir. Maybe just maybe then so we can weaponize and, and, and really borrow his guys' moments. Listen, everyone who's tuned in, I really appreciate it. Until next time, for a little take dog, care. He'll show you where he is. He'll look someplace else when you get to the tiny key. I like Bobby O'Reilly. Sure. The name here is the Sutter guy, Lalo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. No, I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. Oh, but you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your mama motor safe, where no one can take them. Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know.
Bobby. Yep. You can take your car to the garage. The place is empty. Any friend of Ralph was a friend of mine. Clean. If you got the money, sure. There are critical shortages in national supply stockpiles. Over the next three years, the warnings kept coming. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. The whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. One of the signature features of this administration has been a mistrust of uh, expertise, a mistrust of the career professionals in the government that has been through in, across the State Department, the yes. intelligence agencies. Uh, why that is where it comes series. from, I will Best leave the class. political scientists to discuss. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this out of road, cops are going to ask questions. Catch up, sure. Also try to keep it in one piece, too, huh? So, to I gotta be back from Bertone by 1.30 before the next guy shifts. Yeah, federal agencies that yeah. work together across 50 states. And it I heard it. Resources, coordination, and good news. <laughs> Hell, oh, many reasons 
for the bungled response and the poor preparedness for the, this pandemic was that sometime in 2018, the strategic national stockpile was moved from CDC's hey, management to Washington. For some Thanks, Lucas. Efficiencies. I gotta get back before CDC's anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salier I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. And in September of last year, our cars, getaways, the truck, and the for the right price. This is no Salier, he's getting wins the world. All our six. Okay, drive careful. Things Got a chance to contain the virus. Drive like a jalopy. We had the experts. Okay, let's get we out of here. We had the resources. Big we had the playbook. But we needed swift, coordinated action and a new leader at the very top. Throughout January, more than a dozen presidential daily briefings from Donald Trump about the threat. Trump's administration should be part of a massive testing and tracing program. So fair walks out. And I'm praying we because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're aging closer. I can deny it. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. 
That's right, you crazy bastard. He walks out of the bathroom and starts pissing all over the joint. Really? But he didn't call the cops. Sometimes you just gotta make them dirty, crazy. Yeah, that's right. Don't call the cops. 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 Don't call the cops.
Fucking hell. I'm gonna have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. So you basically sure. had Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't sold a lot of money today. Emma Earl's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> what about the Europeans? He's probably wearing some red books by now, the poor bastards. Here. We're not communicating to the American people. You know what? This could be. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, Bash. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that up, please, and horse. Today, finally slipping under the Golden Gate nah. Bridge. Uh, an interesting Maybe I'll buy my mom milk coffee. At the first week of March, Trump will get yourself a drink. ship off the coast of California has infected passengers. Congratulations, big hero. He wants to just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so. Drinks on you? Oh. Double because of one ship. That wasn't our fault. The administration is still misleading the public. Yeah. Now you're ready for the pictures. Hey, you're done celebrating. You might want to go find your buddy Holly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. Okay. I'll get him home safe. They're not enough equipment, they're not enough people. They're testing 10,000... Where are you, Holly? We can't get this off the ground. This is not good. When you have President of the United States saying, anyone can get a test you want on. You have the New York State Department of Health saying that right, right, only patients be admitted to a hospital. That's we had just put the my daughter through another year of school shop to that time. Hey. The entire the New York City area is well in the moment. But the deal with Polly before he marries himself after the country. I will not let the same as the flu. People die from the flu. 
is ten times more lethal than the season of thick. There is a conflict in messaging. There is a difference in messaging between what our elected officials are saying and what the science is saying. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, I had a gun here. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when I sat down, I was down in his belly. That means he's safe. Hey, what's the problem? You guys shout. Hey, go walk him sideways. Like yeah, I heard. March 11th, the Dudley Way Show announces that COVID-19 is now a worldwide pandemic. We are deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. By spring break, there are still no national social distancing guidelines in the U.S. And Americans are left to operate as Where is this fool? If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to stop me from partying. But the truth is, normal is long gone. The lights have gone out on Broadway. The NBA has suspended the season. The NCAA tournament has been canceled. Owners are doing what they can to stay afloat. Millions of dollars. The guys on the cops. The case is soaring. The city's hospital doctors and nurses are getting sick. I don't know how I'm even going to make it. This is a war zone. Patients keep coming. Oh, there he is. Oh, dear me. Look at the state of it. He's a mess. I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That is an asshole. You should show some respect. That's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Okay then. I guess. You lie and you can see the wrong things. But every community across America is suffering from a pandemic. There's no end in sight to the health crisis. At least nine states report record increases in cases over the past three days. The President of the United States still does not have a plan for turning this around. At first, Trump blamed China. China virus or whatever you want to call it. Then Obama. But in the spring, he found a new target. States. As we direct a state line. He did real good today, Tommy. Let's stay home. Driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Holly? I said this guy can drive. I'm not telling Harry. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. Put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Race car driver. We all got our painful cycle. You're know, real good since you joined the family, but you know you gotta be aging, right? Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff. That right, bro. You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn in your mind race. That's some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Wanna get out like Sam does. Go home to. Bro, I don't go home to. Polly, you drunk. You're gonna have to clam up till you're on the six. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna get out with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Hey, you ladies! Ain't near the blue tropics. Yeah, that's no, I ought to take you home. The bridge! Ain't the bridge over the island! Ain't near the ladies! Ain't near the little sweet one, booties! I don't know when you're taking your home seats. More class. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna hit your drunk ass like the hard. Uh, 
needs is to um, safeguard yeah, like, the well-being of the American people. Yeah. So that's what I can speak to Friday. I can't. Okay. Uh, but the good thing is, is the president's feeling better and he's uh, anxious to get back out there. Can you explain why the president did not quarantine the second he heard about the Hope Hicks diagnosis and why? You guys went on for a fundraiser in New Jersey Thursday night. Clearly, that was against CDC guidance. Yeah, that's the cold thumb. Do you want anything else? Mind that anybody around the president is tested. Nah, I didn't know. Tested for COVID uh, with the yeah, right test, but they're also there with the temperature check. Uh, in any of these I events, ask you small back favor. Them, uh, by six feet uh, so you know, from me? the uh, the fundraiser that they well, have. So people aren't getting that close to the Sarah, president. Uh, but again, we are here. She doesn't need any kind of ask for test yet. And so as soon as she did have a positive test, of course, it went to a different level of protocol. And is, uh, they took the back of boys and they did the reads. And now he's doing much better. That's the important thing. So what you're saying is the White House does they not follow the CDC guidelines. They took a blue to guidelines. make advances. Because the CDC guidelines would have meant that he would have he would have told you to mind. somebody who's as close to the age. Or maybe she says there's something that they don't like. He should be quarantining. That's the CDC guideline. But it sounds like what you're saying is that the White House does by CDC. Remind that he's bunk. She said, Don't say that. I'm saying it's all about the White House, with the White House operations and the White House medical unit. At the end. Speaking of the exact particulars, uh, but what I know is that any of these around the president is tested. Set up. Time to go. Taken, that they're, that they keep back at least I mean, I'm never within six feet of the president even when I'm around him. So they take a lot of seriousness. Uh, Are you upset? Uh, Are you upset that you were exposed? Uh, to I'm going to take you. I've talked to other people, by the way. All right. Also. Close to this hey, White House, I just work here. Are, are not but you're happy nobody about bother you. the lack of information and are not happy that, Fine. that basically it'll make you feel better, Pop. Be, what was told to them was hey. a safe place turned out not to be. I'll see you tomorrow. No, not at all, because I know that every time that I'm around the president, Let me get my coat. a test taken. I'll wait for you, i Everybody around me has a test taken. The day of the temperature check, we take this very seriously. I always keep at least six feet away from the president. We keep a, a certain level okay. of distance. And so I, I, I feel that like the White House does home. a very good job of we protecting the folks who want to vote. But here's the important thing, Chad. There's a lot about this virus we're that we don't about know. What it's president be. Trump is arguably the single most protected person on the entire planet. And yet he got good. So there's a lot about this we don't know. But what we can't do is just stay, whether it's upstairs in a place or downstairs in a basement. We have to take this virus head on. We have to vote because we see for President Trump and developing this therapeutics and getting the vaccine, getting the ventilators. We have to take this head on. We can't stay in our basement or shut down the economy indefinitely. That's what we just, we have to take it head on. And I think that's the moment of what President Trump is doing right now. Now, I'm curious, as the campaign, are you guys going to change protocols? You hold a lot of the door people not to Only socially distance here. you have events with 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 no mask i mean we saw the supreme court um uh, the supreme court rollout on saturday turned out and might end up being a super spreader event is the campaign going to change its protocols are you going to um insist on mask wearing Sarah. Uh, does the campaign regret Matthew. that its own staffers and family yeah, didn't so wear it's masks not as much debate? as last time it's enough. Well, I'll go back to what I said earlier anyone around the president is always tested, not just with the, the avid, uh, and this, rapid test. And this has got to be tabbed. Sarah told us all about you. We pass out masks. Right. We pass You're out hand sanitizer. We encourage people to wear them. Everyone talks about it. I think everybody, if they can't face the distance, just like President Trump told me yesterday, Chad, said, Jason, I want you to make sure you tell people two things. We're going to defeat this virus. Well, anyway, don't let the cold in here yet. If you keep socially distance, wear a mask, wash your hands, uh, use hand sanitizer. These are the messages from the president. Trump. He wants to make sure that everybody knows that. I saw that you, uh, the Vice President Pence is going to have a full campaign schedule this week. Um, why do you believe that that's prudent with the president currently hostile nice to the virus? That for that, continuity of government well, reasons, about should the Vice people be on block. Shouldn't he be yeah. um, mitigating risk of getting this virus? Well, Shouldn't you guys be asking for a remote debate, for instance? I mean, wouldn't that be what's best interest 
a continuity of government for the United States of America. We'll get yourself killed on my account, Tom. Huh? <laughs> no, we're in the <laughs> right. we're we're right. to go. We see That's Joe all you've got? You spend all this time with the lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you've got is good night for a walk anyway? The vice presidential candidates on Wednesday will be in the trail. Be in Arizona, probably be in Nevada, they'll be back here in D.C. And he's going to have a very full aggressive schedule, as will the first family. Don, Eric, Ivanka, and we have a number, number of our supporters. Flowers for the lady, Senora. Black voices for Trump, nah, Latinos for Trump, good. women for Trump. Now I don't get flowers? Will be deploying get the, the girl some flowers, you stinky bastard. Vice President takes very Come on! All of these measures, anyone around yeah, the Vice President are tested. People are kept very safe. not going to stop me seeing one of you. I can't believe this guy is not getting her flowers. After we did, we are going to have to develop this vaccine. These guys are going to be creeps to me for But I do tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my next shiner. So yeah, he knows. I believe we're going to have a couple of the family members tomorrow night on Monday. We're going to have a big virtual event. We're going to have our first virtual rally. He said you wouldn't last long. I know what happened. And then as soon as we're able to get back out there in person, we're going to do so. But uh, I expect oh, this to have nice. upwards of 50 folks all around the country. I've been trying uh, to keep the same time. Well, it's time. Trump campaign senior advisor Jason Miller. Tomorrow night, nothing. The president's condition is in on the campaign. Jason Miller, thank you. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Thank you. 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 Thank you, you stepping out on us? Piss off. Oh, I can't shake this <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. The we'll let your, your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. Morning, you said so be careful. You end up in wooden roller coats. Less chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. Well, then let's see what you got, gang eater. Oh, yeah, head I'm just, just going to patch you up as all. Now go sit down on the couch, mask. roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing yeah, kit. Check. Testing is the color of the car, the way that we respond to this, as you have previously talked about. But it is soft. No one thing is a silver. Doesn't look too bad. What the testing is, Mary? You need something for the pain? 
I don't know why I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go as Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Don't get sick. When you put that mask on, you know, when you keep compliments of the gun, a chance that if you have a test that came back negative because someone was early in their disease or because it was false negative, that you don't have this type of scenario where people get exposed and they become bitter. Sick another. Uh, so one thing I'll say is that the thing that, you know, may have heard in this situation is that dose is All right. Yeah. We're going to grin and bear this. Yeah, it'll be okay. Good. Good. So I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Come on, would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with a meeting needle right through the hand. What for? Because to all of you, she was an ugly, jealous drunk. For this campaign to deal with, there. After that, not my best work, but can you stack one more event on this? It's gotta be something to remember you by, if nothing else. What you're staying over? Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood, uh, Kai. Not when the mugs are out progress. looking for you, anyways. We've been there more often, I think, in the past yeah, few okay. years than, they, than we had been before that. You got an extra blanket or something? The is hospitalized. We no. cannot be certain what his exact condition out. is uh, because we cannot be fully confident of the information given us to. Uh, given us by various white house sources Cozy. and also there's an impression that not everybody in the white house themselves Cozy, Cozy. it seems to me one of the most interesting things the doctor who just appeared uh in interview with you said just it is still early it is only october 4th um and uh but this is not a great start for rich lowry it, do the republicans in the senate side it if there's talk that they still want to get through with the Amy Coney Barrett situation. Are they at a point where it'll look like they're trying too hard to get her confirmed? You know, COVID, COVID cases be darned. This can't stand. They're trying very hard to get it. Okay, boss. You know, I just be shocked that it. they put this this off. I she started she working here before she could see over the bar. The fact is, all year long, the judiciary. I don't have a daughter of my own. Time. Hybrid type hearings. We have some. I do anything for the weakest little girl. In person and other so would I. So I imagine you see. Some version we all of that, win. but but they, they're, right, they're an extreme. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna right. Park or something? The conversation there. I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Debate. I've got an interesting. Our business is protection. You guys take a look at, and then but who's going to pay up when they learn we can't even protect happen. one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies, put them in wheelchairs, bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers Welcome can't look at them without screaming. Opportunity you know where they're hold up? The Your friend on the floor says we should start looking at each other, Tommy. Then Big Biff will know. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks playing in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Take a look. I beat Bernie Sanders. Not by much. I beat him a whole hell of a lot. I'm here. I'm here. Somebody suck a bitch who will still be on our turf. I'll check the email. Make sure they're gone. Let's go ahead. Yeah, see? Your reaction to the debate. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Debacle. Sure. Consulting. Let's go bust you some heads. Crazy. Lock of vision. I can answer that because the question is, the question is, just as the radical left, will you shut up, man? Who is on your list, John? Looking at this debate, what's the point to make when it comes out of this? Uh, embarrassing is an accurate uh, description. I sent a message that in this country we don't know how to have a conversation. I was really disappointed for, for both candidates and for both parties. Hey, hey. we were some heaters, Tom. Uh, nah, we are I'm already going in the aisle. Follow me. We gotta give a bean to some punks who've been on our turf. 
Oh, I'm going to pull this. Truth in the world. Focus on, on truth. Something to bust that. That's all we need. We're just trying to take shots at each other. Impulsive. Sam turned over some guys. Oh, wearing like else? Oh, that's the turd. Egomania. Autograph by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. Incompetent. That's horse shit, but they bust heads. Punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. What was the high point uh, for you, if anything, that Donald Trump said? That Donald Trump, you know, well, why, why now? Why, have, why didn't you do that when you were in office for 46 years? You had your chance. In 47 months, I've done more than you've done in 47 years, too. What's the biggest failure uh, as president? I don't see People were unhappy, and what the takeaway is that Joe Biden was good enough, and Donald Trump made people feel uneasy, and that's really what it was about, as much as anything else. This, you know, and this is about getting things right in America, getting things Maybe back. You're fat bastard. You yeah, doing? Nicole, it didn't seem like anybody was reassured. Um, either candidate, even if they were certainly threatened off by the president. All right, Biff, we got business. Upstairs. What was surprising to me in this debate was the extent to which people were disappointed in both candidates. So they were looking for leadership, for any kind of assurance, for any direction for the country. They didn't get it from either one. That was one of the things coming out of the focus group that was pretty surprising to me that while the focus has been largely on the president's performance, I think people were disappointed a little bit in Joe Biden as well. You know, we did so much quantitative and quantitative work this week with both of your firms, both doing regular polling and these focus groups. So we did these word clouds. We asked our polling respondents to just give us a word or phrase about the debate. And here is um, Peter, hey, the Biden word cloud about that dope. Um, of Relax, people that thought Biden did better. And from. what was interesting you know, is how much week, it's about Trump. Trump avoided questions. Trump unprofessional. It actually doesn't have a lot on Biden himself. Well, exactly. This election is... What was that back Trump. there? It's an up and down. Well, they've got something and, going uh, on. Uh, when I don't know what you're bringing that shit with. It says to everybody, nobody's safe. This is a long, 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 I don't think they thought this that it was a good debate. They said I the guess I heard was unfair. That. Biden had won the election. Biden when you see him. again. Yeah. What was interesting is the Trump no, word cloud. I guess if I don't, all we got to do is find the other guys in China. Well, it, it is interesting, and I think what people are saying is they didn't hear much about what Joe Biden has to offer. There were a lot of unanswered questions going into this debate about Joe Biden. Who is he? What does he represent? What direction we take the country? And those questions weren't answered in this debate. Yeah, we do this. Nicole, should we have more me. debates? Do you think these folks want to see more of this? Shooters. Think well, think I don't think they want to see nah. more of this, but I, I think they want to see more debates because I think there are unmet expectations and a lot of unanswered questions uh, from this debate. 
So, Peter, what should the campaigns take away from these focus groups? If you had them vote, candidates watch these, what would be the lesson that you would want to hear uh, both candidates take away from it? Tell me the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, no. Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go.
such a nasty person and maybe he says to joe biden you're so nasty but it, it's it's different when he said you know what he won't say which he said to hillary she doesn't have that presidential look and i don't think he was talking about her tie or lack of he was saying she's a woman that she's shorter she can't bend press as much I mean, I think Go to the end. 
ends of the earth. Right now. We got something crazy. Oh, boom. And reach for the stars. Here we are. <laughs> Tom. Yes, it's my comeback. <laughs> hey, this is pretty fun. But wait, there's more. Experience thought provoking. Welcome to the idea of being a human being. Innovative <laughs> and truly original recording. Simple straight. Wow. Because there's always something new on the <clears throat> on CBS. Wow. Sunday morning. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. To give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the corner of this office sent these over. Corpse's name is Joe Orti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. Cap. Well, the cops started to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morello's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he's the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week at St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <laughs> Did he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're going to kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral is today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're going to attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky blast. How will I recognize you? They'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You know, You're time to dip in wick? It's a brothel. A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The dog has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So I mean, Sam, regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If they need a horse, see it? Well, it'll be a warning. <coughs> Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. We're just minutes but be away smart. The first Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tom, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Oh, Frank, it's just bad luck this fall. We gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working in one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Well, thanks for having me. I think the debate plays an important role and that it'll be the first time that voters will see yeah. President Tom. and former Vice President Biden on the same stage. I got it, boss. Get it done. And I think that's a big deal. We really haven't seen Vice President, former Vice President Biden campaign very much. We haven't seen him on the trail. When we have, he's had a, a certain level of gaps. And so I think this will be the first time that the voters can see them side by side. That. I think that that'll be a big opportunity for, as you mentioned, small silver voters, but still, I think it'll make a difference. All right, now let our audience know uh, on the left of your screen there, we are looking at live pictures, and we were at Case Western right in the University, of course, that goes where boom. that debate is set to get underway minutes from now. So, minutes from now. So, we know the basic topics for tonight, Katie. Which ones do you think the president well, those girls use are from Uncle most ben, huh? out of the list? Not today, Benny. I think the economy is clearly the president's strong suit. Um, I think he'll talk a lot about the 10.6 million new jobs he's created in the last Don't go any place yet. Since we kind of Gotta hear me out on this. Um, it's about the girl, Michelle, so I think that right? I think he'll come back to you don't have to rub her out. There's just so many things that just are tied to make her disappear. You know her. Um, yeah. I've been with her a few times. 
She's a good aide, Tom. She's maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave, Tom? When she understands what will happen otherwise? Yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. She's known from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we were going to talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask. Yes. Got to leave the ball. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Just don't take all that. Well, I think I'm young because I can't be much to say about it. The bomb goes off. I'll do my thing. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish the job this time, huh? Mm -hmm. First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funeral stop. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals. I just not going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame. Seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great guy, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. No weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I'm giving up waiting on power. I couldn't get a bra to stick to him if they went swimming through a globe. Ah, you'll find someone. Tom? If his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. And the first hey, debate afternoon, between so. President Trump and Joe Biden is about to get started. Let's go to our CBS I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs>
to joust and that he feels that Joe Biden's family and his cognitive abilities are fair game in this debate. Now, the president is expecting the first question out of the gate will be about his taxes, these revelations that he basically did not pay any federal income tax for years. We're also told by the campaign is they're trying to play down the president's preparation for this debate, that he actually has been practicing, and they say he's ready for any question that may come his way. Ben Tracy, let's turn now to CBS's Ed O'Keefe. He is in the debate hall where the anticipation is building. Ed? Nora, good evening. Once they get rocking and rolling here in Cleveland tonight, expect Biden to focus on two key things, the president's taxes and his handling of the coronavirus pandemic and the economic downturn. His aides believe if he keeps focused on those two issues, he can maintain his lead in battleground states. One thing we shouldn't expect Biden to do tonight is serve as a real-time fact checker. He'd suggested earlier this month that's what he wanted to do. His aides now say he'll instead try speaking directly to the American people. Here in the room tonight, we count about 107 invited guests. That's down from the usual 900 who observe these debates in person. Nora. Ed O'Keefe, thank you. And John, does Trump know that he has to change the trajectory? <laughs> <laughs> Constitution is clear about your obligation and incentives to consider 
Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me, I, I don't say nothing, he knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because some <laughs> can't keep their mouths shut. I hope this fucking goes to Don Morello's girl. I didn't mean nothing by it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Tell us I will never open my mouth again. <laughs> Scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two and a half. We should wait and see what the Do you understand? Is. Because that's the only way the American people get to express their view. Is by who they act as president. Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Now, what's at stake here? Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. He's been running on that. He's been running on that. And he's been going on that. Thank you. He's on the Supreme Court right now. Just don't come back and we're square. The Affordable Care Act. Which will strip 20 million people from having insurance, health insurance now, if, if, they, if it goes into court. And and uh, the justice, and I have nothing, I'm not opposed to the justice, but she seems like a very fine person. What she's written before she went to the bench, which is her right, is she thinks that the Affordable Care Act is not constitutional. Get over here now! And if, if it was struck down, what happens? Over the top! Once again, a woman could be held online because she has a pre-existing condition of pregnancy. We're able to know that they have a child in the middle of the same exact procedure. Yes. And that ended when we were not passing for the care. And we were able to take it away as well. Those pre-existing conditions could be changed from the middle of the world. Fuck that! And so it's just that way. If you want this, you want to be the same as the
insurance stuff. They can. They do. They know. They know the purpose of that. What you say is that what well, I can only accept is simply what they doesn't say. You personally Motherfucker! Get you next time. Approved of. Fuck what I approved of. Now here's the deal. The deal is that it's going to wipe out pre-existing conditions. And by the way, the twenty, the two hundred million, the two hundred thousand people that have died on his watch. How many of those have survived? Well, there's seven million people that contracted COVID. What does it mean for them going forward if you strike down? The Affordable Care Act. Joe, you know, you've had 308,000 people die because you couldn't provide a is opposed to Roe v. Wade. That's on the ballot as well, in the court, in the court. And so that's also the state right now. And so they want you to call... Oh, get behind there, were you? Because Jesus! It's on the ballot in the court, they said in the court. Well, there's nothing happening there. And you don't know their view on Roe v. Wade. I don't know. Found it. All right, now take the ballot. So my question, sir, is what is the Trump health care plan? Right. Well, first of all, I guess I'm debating you, not him, but that's okay. I'm not surprised. Let me just tell you something. That there's nothing symbolic. I'm cutting drug prices. I'm going with favored nations, which no president has encouraged to do because you're going against big pharma. Drug prices will be coming down 80 or 90 percent. You could have done it during your 47-year period in government, but you didn't do it. <laughs> Nobody's done it. So we're cutting health care. All of the things that we've done, yeah, insulin, I'll right 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 give you an example, insulin. It's going to, it was destroying families, destroying people because I'm getting it for so cheap. Money. Take it's money like talking. water, you want to know the truth. So cheap. Take a look at all of the drugs that what we're doing, prescription drug prices. We're going to allow our governors now to go to other countries to buy drugs because they make just a tiny fraction. This is open discussion. No, but this is big stuff. stuff. Sir, you'll be happy. I'm about to pick up on one of your points to ask the vice president, which is he points out that you would like to add a public option to Obamacare. And yes. the argument that he makes and other Republicans make is that that is going to end private insurance it is and will I'm sorry, I'm speaking the question. And it will end it will end private insurance and create a government It does not. It's only for those people who are so poor that they qualify for Medicaid. They can get that free in most states except governors who want to deny people with poor Medicaid. Anyone who qualifies for Medicare, excuse me, Medicaid will automatically be enrolled in the public option. The vast majority of the people are still not 
Let's try to be serious about it. We have had more than 7 million cases of coronavirus in the United States, and more than 200,000 people have died. Even after we produce a vaccine, experts say that it could be months or even years before we come back to anything approaching... No matter how far we've fallen, we My can find redemption you in death. Based on what you have said... Now, William, and done so far, he was a sinner, and yes. You you would do, but starting in he was also a loving Why should the American people trust you brother, more than and the loyal your family and for those to deal with this public health crisis Praise going forward? In this case, the question goes to you first, sir. And now Two I believe... Uninterrupted. Like 200,000 dead, as you said, Thank over you, 7 Father. million infected in the United States. We, in fact, have I, uh, 5%, 4% of the world's population. Just wanted to pay my respects. of the deaths. 40,000 people a I day said this. are contracting COVID. And I consider you my brother. About between 750 and 1,000 people a day are dying. I can't even count. He was that that number. He said, it is what it is. But it is what it is because you I don't know how I'm going to do that's why Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Back in February, how serious this crisis was. He knew it was a deadly disease.